Welcome back to the Transfer Your Mind to Transfer Your Life, the podcast. This is Life Coach Myrna Young, and you're listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. Today, I want to talk on the topic, when love is not enough. Have you ever loved someone but could not live with them, so you broke up with them instead? This is when love is not enough. Today, I want to use as my foundational scripture, the Bible story of Hannah and why the love of her husband was not enough. So let's look at 1 Samuel 1, verse 8. Then Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better than 10 sons? So Hannah had all the love a, a woman could want from a man, but she was not happy because she could not have children. Her husband's love was not enough to fill the hole in her heart. For Hannah, having a husband wasn't enough. Having a man wasn't enough. Having a man who loved her still wasn't enough. So love can be a wonderful and important aspect of our lives, but it is not the sole determinant of our happiness. Happiness is a complex and multifaceted emotion that can be influenced by various factors. While love can contribute significantly to our well-being, there are other aspects to consider. So let's look at five reasons when love is not enough. And the first one that I'm going to look at is self-fulfillment. True happiness often involves a sense of purpose and personal fulfillment. Pursuing your passions, setting and achieving goals, and engaging in activities that bring you joy and a sense of accomplishment can contribute to your overall happiness. For Hannah and most women, this includes being a mother. You can have a man, you can have a family, you can have a top job, you know, you can have everything that you want. But if you don't have that peace that gives you self-fulfillment, that gives you a sense of accomplishment, that gives you a purpose, because how many do you know that motherhood is also a purpose, right? Yep you will not have self-fulfillment. The second one is emotional well-being. Happiness goes beyond love and encompasses emotional well-being. It is important to develop coping skills, self-care practices, and maintain healthy relationships beyond romantic love, such as with family and friends to cultivate happiness. So one of the things that if you were ever had the misfortune to be in a relationship with a narcissist or a psychopath, one of the things that they do is they cut you off from family and friends. They isolate you. So how many do you know that you can have all the love that you want? You can be pampered. You can be throwing roses on your bed every night and all that. But if you're cut off, from friends or family or girlfriends or whatever, you're not going to have emotional well-being, right? So the third one is a space that I loved, personal growth. Continuous personal growth and self-improvement can lead to a sense of fulfillment and happiness. This includes learning new skills, expanding your knowledge, and challenging yourself to become the best version of yourself. You can have all the love in the world, but if you're not growing, you would feel unfulfilled. And I will tell you, I know this personally, right? You, If you're not growing, if you're not learning, you're not learning new things, if you don't feel that you're expanding, at the beginning of, the, of my show, I have a quote that I talk about, can I, which is constant and never ending improvement. It has always been the source of my happiness. You know, learning things, reading books. I love it. Love it. All right. Number four, 
physical and mental health. Taking care of your physical and mental health is essential to overall happiness. Engaging in regular exercise, practicing self-care, managing stress, and seeking support when needed are all crucial aspects of well-being, right? So if you're depressed, if you have love, you know, you can still be depressed. You know, they even have this new thing now called porous pardon. You know, we're just talking about how every, most women want to be mothers and they love their babies and all that. But then when the baby is born, they go through postpartum depression. Yeah. So love is not enough then, right? Number five, meaningful connections. When romantic love is significant, nurturing relationships with friends, family, and a supportive community can provide a sense of belonging and happiness. So building and maintaining meaningful connections with others can be a source of joy and support. And it usually is. Why do you think all the movies are always got like four best friends or four guy friends and all that? Because trust me, you know, it is, it builds joy and peace and happiness in your life, right? Even if you've got a man, even if you've got a husband, right? You still need those connections. And I want to point out that one of the reasons that I decided to teach on this today is that I just finished reading Paris Hilton's memoir. And in her book, Paris shares her infertility journey. And like Hannah, love was not enough for Paris. Being a Hilton and a heiress, heiress was not enough. Having a brand was not enough. Like Hannah, she wanted a child and she went through her fertility journey in the end had to get a surrogate for her child bearing. So remember that happiness is subjective and what brings happiness to one person may differ from another. You know, we're talking about Hannah wanting kids. Some women don't want kids, you know. Some women want to be alone to travel the world and do things and have fun and skydive and, and have adventure. And that's what brings them happiness. So sometimes the love of your family or spouse is enough. But most of the times, you must love yourself first. It is important to explore and cultivate various areas of your life beyond love to find fulfillment and happiness. Seeking a balance between different aspects of your life, investing in personal growth and fostering relationships can contribute to a more fulfilling and, and joyful experience. So being in love or receiving love is not enough for self-actualization, which includes realizing your dreams, being true to yourself, and achieving the most magical of all, inner peace. How many of you want inner peace? And the only way you can get inner peace is if you have a little bit of everything, all the five points that I touched on. So thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Five Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. I hope that you have the love of a man, the love of a woman, and you also have family, friends, career, self, you know, self-improvement, personal growth, spirituality, all the things that makes you whole. So thanks for tuning in. If you're listening to this on YouTube, would love for you to subscribe. If you're listening to this on iTunes, but I'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and review. Until next time, namaste.